Hi, I am Alperen Berber. This is my presentation video for the final project of Antennas and Propagation Laboratory course. In our project, we tried to design a patch antenna array and compared it against a single patch antenna. The ASC operating frequency was 2.45 GHz. As an introduction to microstrip antennas and arrays, we can say the followings. Uh, the microstrip antennas are commonly used in industry for various purposes. They can be used in aircraft, spacecrafts, and mobile communication. They are easy to fabricate, they are conformal, meaning they can be put along with other objects, and they are effective. They can be used in standalone or in an array. Array usage may enhance some performance metrics such as directivity and return loss characteristics, as we will see in following slides. In our study, um, we designed the patch antenna array and compared its performance against a single patch antenna and a dipole antenna. I started to my theoretical research from some websites. In most of the sources, and the operating frequency was governed with this uh, was given with this formula. Uh, from this formula, by providing a, an appropriate permeability, we can find out the length, the required length. Uh, I used a relative permeability of 2.2. In this case, L turns out to be 4.1 centimeters. Uh, one rule of thumb that is used in antenna arrays is using a separation distance less than a half wavelength because using a separation distance which is less greater than the half wavelength may provide unwanted side lobes which is not desirable. Uh, in order to apply these we first need to find out uh, the free space wavelength and half of it. The half of the free space wavelength turns out to be 6.1 centimeters. However, I picked the separation distance as, as 8.1 centimeters due to some realization problems and optimization. Uh, the other parameters are chosen appropriately and provided in the following slides. Here is my single patch antenna design. Uh, the most important thing here is the length. Um, I used a length of 4.02 cm. Uh, after some optimizations and trials, I found out that the 4.0 cm is the best solution for my problem. Uh, here, width controls the bandwidth. Um, other parameters are chosen again by trial and optimization. Uh, here's my patch antenna array design. I provided some values here which are not which are different from the um, single antenna design, single patch antenna design. Uh, ungiven values are the same as the single patch antenna. Uh, here I should note that the uh, separation distance is around 8 centimeters and I used a single port feeding method. And here is my single patch antenna array result, single patch antenna results. Uh, I see that the operating frequency brings a return loss which is less than minus 20 dB and this is a good sign and we see a smaller bandwidth. Uh, the gain is around 6 and we see an isotropically radi isotropic radiation from this view which is expected. Uh, here's my patch antenna array result. Uh, again, we see that uh, the operating frequency, 2.45 GHz, provides a, provides a good, even better uh, return loss characteristics. However, we see a bit increased uh, bandwidth. Uh, the directivity has been increased to 11, around 11. Uh, however, we see some unwanted bendings uh, due to the involvement of uh, feed lines and imperfections in my design. In conclusion, we can say that very directive and efficient antennas can be developed by using the microstrip technique. The array application increases the directivity, may increase the directivity, and may provide a better return loss performance. Uh, the array application may result in an increased bandwidth, which is not usually wanted as we mentioned. Uh, additionally, array applications may result with unwanted side lobes and should be handled carefully. This may be due to uh, not fitting a good separation distance. This was all. Thank you for watching.